Hello and thanks so much for joining us tonight for News 5 at 6. I'm Diane Derby. Despite weeks of investigation by the CBI, one woman in Trinidad is frustrated that an unidentified person buried by the coroner has not been identified yet. Let's bring in News 5 investigative reporter Megan Cloherty. She's in the newsroom to break down where the investigation stands into the Los Animas County coroner. He's accused of burying homeless people in mass graves. We've been following this story for months, trying to get to the buried truth. Down in Los Animas County, which is just before you get to New Mexico, the coroner there is under investigation. That's because back in September, a woman who learned that her homeless father had been buried by the coroner in the Starkville Cemetery, which is just outside of Trinidad, wanted to exhume his body to bring him back to Oklahoma for a burial. But in digging him up, they found another person buried next to him in a body bag. This is video that a man named Tom Murphy shared with us. He was there that day. It's illegal in Colorado to bury two people together without the family's okay. But because they didn't have the permits you need from the Department of Health to take that second person out of the grave and exhume them, he or she is still buried there, unidentified. That was five months ago when they found the two bodies buried together. Now, the CBI confirmed to us that it was investigating back in mid-December. But so far, neither the three county commissioners nor any agency that's been investigating this, the county sheriff's office, the Department of Regulatory Agencies, nor the CBI has dug up that person to learn who they are. And that inaction is frustrating Dr. Morgan Shire. We went to her home this week to talk about it. We notified the public of this on December 5th, but the commissioners knew a long time before that. And so... Just like the amount of time. That's yeah, gone just by. like there's even if we count December 5th as day one, like almost two months has passed and and there's been no exhumations of any of those bodies or attempt to identify them that I'm aware of. Shire's dad, Dave, disappeared two years ago. She shared this video of her dad and her daughter from back in 2021. Yeah. Do you love your grandpa? Do you love your grandpa? Since February 22, no one has heard from Dave Shire who ran a business and lived on the same street as his two daughters in Trinidad. He was a family guy, really close with his grandchildren, and apparently had a hat for every occasion. Was this in his shop when, I mean, where did you find it? No, this was at his home, okay. but um, you know, it's, it's still something we haven't done. Like, because of such open-ended situation, like, we haven't really processed through any of his clothing or anything like that. When someone dies, it's human nature to hold on to the things they loved to remind us of them. Dr. Shire, who is the family physician in Trinidad, doesn't know her father has passed. He's just missing, and he could be the person in that grave. Morgan told us she worries there could be more people buried at Starkville Cemetery. Those are the five that we know of on that list that was given to us, but as we have well documented, there's been, um, I mean, he has fabricated burial permits, he's not filing burial permits, and he's not keeping records of who's buried where. This is the list she's talking about. We got this in an open records request from the coroner's office, and it's a list of the people the coroner buried at Starkville Cemetery. You can see the headstones at the cemetery in the monitor behind me. Everyone on this list is indigent, meaning their families didn't claim their bodies, and the coroner has five people listed buried at Starkville in 2019. Starkville Cemetery sits just outside of Trinidad, we drove out there and we sent a drone up to get a better look. It gives you an idea of where we're talking about. This area is where you can see the headstones and what looks like a graveyard. But this is the area where the two people were found buried together in an unmarked grave at the bottom of the slope. One of them, the body of Frederick Huff, was being exhumed by his family. The other, the unidentified person, is still buried there. And that takes us back to this list. For four of the five people at the coroner's records show were buried at Starkville, the coroner lists his office as the funeral home. And that's legal in Colorado because there are no regulations on funeral homes. But according to the Funeral Directors Association, a funeral home does have to be registered with the Department of Regulatory Agencies, or DORA. And we checked. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office is not registered as a funeral home. Locked. The coroner, Dominic Verker, is not charged. And after weeks of reaching out to him to try and get a comment, he finally wrote me back this week saying, I personally would like to provide you with the facts of all these senseless allegations. But then after talking to his attorney, he decided against it. The CBI investigation is still going on, so that makes sense that he can't comment. There's a lot here, and this investigation will likely take months. The CBI says it cannot comment on specific elements of the case, However, a CBI investigator told one of our sources that it plans to exhume the people at the coroner buried at Starkville Cemetery so they can be properly identified. In the newsroom, Megan Cloherty, News 5 Investigates. Megan, 